So what we figured out, the top three prisms that we've been enjoying to use is this, rec 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 uh, this rectangular one. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you all know, I've been studying the past three years. I'm currently in my final year and I'm starting my first semester, coming towards the end of it. One of the subjects is called compositing for design. We're expected to take photos and then combine those in some form of composite through the use of Photoshop. I suck at Photoshop personally. However, it's exciting and I chose this subject to learn a little bit more about it. Now, for this final assignment, which is worth 50%, we've been asked to have a look at some books that have been provided by the university, get a feel and idea of the emotions and concepts in those chapters that we've read and then portray those within our photography and composites. I kind of got a bit of a warped reality, dystopian, moody kind of vibe. As I was reading through these books, I couldn't help but kind of think about 19 Tones work. I actually love the stuff that he does. It kind of reminds me of a warped sense of reality alongside with the refractions through what he calls prismography or the use of prisms. So I contacted Toby and Lamont, both of which have managed to find some prisms around their house. We've got a model waiting for us in the city and we're gonna go try and create something along those lines. So let's go do this. All right, so we made it into the city. It's actually a lovely day. It's sunny, which is interesting because what we're doing is typically good when it's nighttime. However, we do have a lot of time in the city, so we'll wait for it to get dark. These are all of the props that we're gonna be using. So he's also supplied some prisms and Lamont's also got some colorful stuff too, on top of probably one of the worst refracting items, my lens ball. Let's just go fuck around. No one knows what they're doing really, but we're just gonna get some cool photos and meet the model. Let's go. is this pawn shop apparently yeah we're going to be taking some photos here with the neon signs that are kind of portrayed everywhere seeing if we can get some refracting elements so Lamont's suggestion very interested to see what him and Toby can kind of come up with here and then we'll check out some other locations but let's see if we can nail the shot at this first place this location was your suggestion. What were you thinking when coming here? So I was thinking of using like this like space invaders LED board here for photos and we can use like reflections from the prisms with that. And we can also, there's heaps of other like shiny neon signs around that we could use to take photos of, like stock images to Photoshop in later. Still in the arcade, but we've got this blue Chinese neon sign right here and it looks sick. So this is the kind of moody look that I'm trying to get. I mean, once we get the prisms into it, it's gonna be dope. get all of the Chinese characters from a front on angle. So I'm gonna see if I can get some perspective in it. That 
place was unreal. Like I just felt completely in my element there. The boys were shooting. I was helping them direct some of what I was thinking. They were coming up with ideas as well. The extra hands definitely helps with like kind of putting prisms yeah. in front of the lens. Don't you agree? Oh, it was so good. Like I just like just got into the flow. Yeah. I just got so many good photos there. You just can't go wrong with neon signs. We've come to a location where on these huge buildings up here, the car parks, it's got some really cool moving neon signs, I guess. I'm using the 85, so you can't really tell where we are location-wise, but as soon as you put the prisms in front, it creates a really clean photo. I mean, there's stuff going everywhere, which is exactly the type of vibe that we're trying to get. We'll keep playing around here. I was actually gonna do a cinemagraph. Yeah, more bangers. The magical, they actually look yeah, like what the wizardry. Heck? That looks like you edited that, like it I'm looks not... like an already edited photo. Favorite prism of the night so far. Mm. Wouldn't have guessed it. Three dollars off eBay. Three dollars off eBay. <laughs> <laughs> because it's compositing, the idea is to combine two photos at once at least. I'll also be going around tonight taking a lot of stock photos for myself. Images that aren't exactly got a subject in it, but have quite a lot of refractions and bokeh so that I can maybe combine the stock images with a nice portrait later on for the assignment purposes. So now we're heading over to this location, which is like a glass wall, which wraps around. So I reckon it'll be pretty interesting with the 85. We'll get a lot of bokeh. Not only that, but hopefully it refracts the subject. But I mean, here it is. Let's, let's see what we can make do with it. This is it. Oh, this one. I was thinking where we were what do you reckon? It's gonna be sick. It's gonna turn out well if you share it. Right? Like, look at it from this angle. Yeah, Lamont's got the right idea. Okay, how good was that? It was such a fun shoot going out into the city. It'd been a while since I'd seen Toby and Lamont and Landa, thank you so much for coming out, honestly. It helped a lot to have a confident model and someone that fit the context for the vision that we were trying to create. I feel like we all had a lot of fun playing around with the prisms. The locations were absolutely perfect. We ended up using the rectangular prism the most. It kind of just nailed it when you just put it in front of the glass. The bracelet was a bit more of a lighter refractment and then the larger prism that Lamont brought from his house, that created more linear and larger refractments, but as a result was a bit harder to play around with when trying to get your composition right. All up though, I think we nailed it. I mean, I don't know if 19 Tones would agree, but I think we all did a great job. These are my final three compositions for the assignment. I combined multiple images from each location alongside with my favorite shot of the subject to create one final composite. They all have a different vibe. I mean, one's extremely kind of cyberpunk and neon based. Another one's a bit more mystical. And then the last location is a bit sharper, more blue tones and a bit more ominous as the subject is being reflected off the glass. And I mean, good enough for the assignment, honestly, I'm sure I'll pass and that's all I'm really going for. Once again, thanks to Toby, Lamont, and Landa. I'll leave all of their Instagrams down below if you want to go check them out. Alongside this, I used Liam's preset Neons for majority of these edits. It was literally a one-click preset. I was surprised by it. I mean, it's in the name, Neons, and it works. So I'll also leave their presets if you want to go pick them up down below as well. If you want to join the Discord, or support me by purchasing any of my artwork. I'll leave those two links. Lamont and Toby both went ham on the photos that they captured too. They turned out amazing. I actually watched Lamont's live stream whilst he was doing it. He was going back and forward between Lightroom and Photoshop. And to be honest, I would love to play around with prismography a lot more. Like I really enjoyed the vibrancy, the saturation, the cyberpunk look. So I'll definitely be doing this again. And you might even see a cheeky little vector art of one of these photos in the future. I mean, they're pretty cool. I think I'm gonna have to vectorize at least one of them. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for the support. I've now finished my uni semester, so you can expect a lot more content from me in the next two months before I go back. And so thank you for watching. 
I will see you in the next one. I'm the Statue of Liberty.